Okay, YouTubers, it's April 4th, 2017, and today adding hunting supers to one of my strong highs. This was a 10 frame, one and a half uh, deep high body, or one, one deep, one medium, I should say. And it was chock full of swarm cells. So, rather than scratch them all off and hope for the best, we're going to use a snow grove approach. And I've used it in the past, and if you catch it early enough, method one works. There's two methods. Last year I used method two. Not going to go into details on how you do it. You can look it up or read the book or look it up on the web. But uh, this is basically uh, method one. Hopefully I got it early enough. And the bottom box down here has the old queen. You must locate the queen, and the queen was difficult to find because the marking that I marked her with last year is almost worn off. It's just a little titch of white left. Okay, I put a clean bottom board down just for grins. Uh, the next thing is the queen excluder. Then you got a honey super next. Then the snow grove board, and you put the uh, doors such there's no doors on the front then the first deep and then the medium that I had these two were the original brood chamber and they are chock full of bees overflowing out the top as you can see had a little bit of carnage here and doing all this set on, set, setting it up and uh, basically what you're doing is you're creating an artificial swarm these bees that are out foraging today, it's about 70 degrees, and you can see they're coming back now. And they're going to be really confused because the queen is there, but all the nurse bees and brood, open brood, is up here. Down here I have a couple frames of cat brood with the queen on it. And foundation and some open comb. Ideally you use open comb, but if you don't have open comb, use foundation and they will build it out. And then you open door number one on the upper left. I mean upper right, I'm sorry. If you, well, it depends how you're looking at it. From the front, it's the upper right. From the rear, it's the upper left. Um, what happens is, any flying bees that are left upstairs, they fly out, they're gonna go right back in the front door. And they won't be able to get up there because it's a double screen here. So basically you've created an artificial swarm and that's the idea behind Snow Grove. Um, you can also raise queen cells up here, which I intend to do, and uh, harvest them. This is a very productive queen from last year and uh, her mother has a fine pedigree too. That's why, that's the reason I got her. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this? Well, you gotta, you gotta switch these doors every several days per the snow grove method you would close this one and open this one um, and then you open one of the doors in the back but I'm not going to go into the details of that it's the process takes I think it's a couple weeks uh, basically to get the swarm impulse out of them but um, what's going to happen is this bottom box is going to build up with lots and lots of flying bees Lots of foragers, which is what you want, so you can get a good nectar flow. When you get a good nectar flow, you can get some honey. Uh, and the bod top boxes will get weaker and weaker as time goes on, because there's no queen up there, um, just queen cells. And um, you can do it with just harvesting one or two queen cells, or you can harvest as many as you can cut out. It's up to you. But uh, the hives do get pretty big. As you can see and um, pretty heavy as well so um, it's not really suitable for an out yard because of the door manipulations that you have to do but um, I've used it before and I'd say it worked two out of three times uh, nothing's for sure in beekeeping the only guarantee in beekeeping is you will be stung that's the only guarantee anyway just thought you'd be interested in it that's it. Be happy. And if you like the videos, hit the uh, like button and subscribe. Hit the red button in the corner to subscribe. 
and you get the videos free of charge. That's it. Bye-bye. Be happy.